What is up, Jupiter? I'm Jason Dobular, and I've got your news for Monday, October 26th, 2020. I'm sure everyone's just as excited as me to be back at school. Now, congratulations to the class officers for the class of 2021, 2022, and 2024. There should be your names all over the screen here. Congratulations to all of you. And now, juniors, something just as exciting, class shirts have finally arrived. In order to receive a shirt, your dues must be paid on schoolcashonline.com. Please bring your receipt to Mr. Day in room 6207 or Mrs. Jeffs in room 5207 after school to pick yours up. Support your class and get a cool shirt. Now to Kirsten. Thanks, Jason. DECA Decision Week. If you are in DECA and need help deciding your competition event for this year, join the Google Meet at 4 p.m. on the DECA Google Classroom. This is where you can ask officers questions, receive advice, and try sample events every day, Monday through Thursday. And now to Haley. Thanks, Kirsten. Hosa, do you want to join the largest career oriented club on campus? Do you want to explore a career in healthcare? Or do you want to be learn how to be a leader, then you should join HOSA. HOSA is having its second general meeting Tuesday, October 27th at 2.45 in the auditorium. All current and prospective members are welcome to attend. The meeting will also be live streamed. We hope to see you there. Childhood Cancer Support Club. If you or someone you know has been affected by childhood cancer, please consider joining this club at Jupiter High School. The club's aim is to help children in South Florida affected by childhood cancer. We will have our first short organizational meeting on Thursday, October 29th at 3.15 p.m. It is so simple to join. All you have to do is join the Google Classroom code SQ43VYI, and we will see you there. Young Republicans, any student wishing to join the club, signing using the class code XI. 6-Y-U-L-G. The first meeting will be held on Google Meet on th Tuesday, October 27th at 3 p.m. If you're interested in collecting items for a local children's hospital while also earning community service hours, please join our new club, the Children's Hospital Volunteer Club. Our first meeting will be on Tuesday, October 27th, 4 118. Please join the Google Classroom for more information about the club. Girls weightlifting, any girls grades 9 through 12 interested in being a part of the 2020 to 2021 team need to join the Girls Weightlifting Google Classroom by using the code ZKHPMOD. A completed athletic eligibility packet is due to Coach Kennerson by October 28, 2020. The dance team is holding our first ever virtual auditions. Please email Coach Gigi at jhswarriordanceteam at gmail.com to receive the audition packet. The due date for all parts of the packet is November 6th. Students Against Melanoma Club members. The next meeting of the SAM Club will be on Wednesday, October 28th at 3.30 p.m. to give brick and mortar members time to get home. We'll be announcing a fun sun safety video contest with prizes, so all members should attend. The video is a community service opportunity and will earn you hours. See you then. Do you love writing? editing, publishing, drawing, painting, or photography, then the Inkwell is for you. The Inkwell is our student-led literary magazine. The first meeting will be Monday, October 26th, which is today at 3 p.m. via Google Meet. Note the Google Classroom code is 2-O-N-C-3-6-B. Officer positions will be available. Join Inkwell and let your creativity shine. Latinos in action, Toys for Tots to Guatemala. Bring donations to the courtyard from 7 to 7.30 a.m. through November 20th. Warriors Against Human Trafficking. The club's first meeting is Thursday, October 29th, after school in Mrs. Hansen's room, 5000 Hallway 109. Now, real quick, the birthdays for the day. We've only got three today, so a very special happy birthday to Adriana Romo, Adriana Smith, and A.B. Velasquez Ramirez. I hope you all have a very happy birthday. Oh, and actually, a happy belated birthday to my friend Jake Russo. Thank you. 
Now the key club quote of the day. There is no elevator to success. You must take the stairs, or in the case of Jupiter High School, unless you have an elevator pass. And now to Kirsten. Thanks, Jason. Stay tuned for SGA News, Coach G's Club Chat, and SGA's Custodian Appreciation Video. I hope to see everyone in their Spirit Week outfits. Have a great day, Warriors. Good morning, Jupiter. I'm Ellie Willis with Jackson Madraska with your SGA News. Today is day one of the first Spirit Week of the year. We hope to see everyone wearing their class colors on this upcoming Monday, October 26. Senior crowns will be passed out to all seniors in the morning. Seniors shall wear black or show their ID in exchange for a crown. Tomorrow is Bikers vs. Surfers. Wednesday is Generation Day. Freshmen will dress as toddlers, sophomores as elementary schoolers, juniors as the working class, and seniors as senior citizens. Thursday is Decade Day. Freshies are the 60s, sophomores are the 70s, juniors are the 80s, and seniors are the 90s to 2000s. Lastly, Friday is Halloween Day. For all events, face masks are required and no full face covering masks are permitted. The Teacher of the Week is Mr. Lichtig. He makes class interesting and does a good job of keeping both virtual and in-person students engaged. Congratulations! The Athlete of the Week is Kylie Ratty. Kylie is very inspiring, an extraordinary student, and a great runner on the cross-country team. Unfortunately, she got injured in her first race and is still almost finished. She is very inspiring to her classmates and teammates. The Palm Beach Food Drive is from November 2nd to November 13th. Be sure to turn in cans to 4217 through your first period class. Have a great week, Warriors. There we go. Good morning, Jupiter High School. We were just waiting on a little lag. It's a good thing we're not playing a game right now, as I'd be saying some bad words um, with that lag. And I have the pleasure of, of A, coming back on. And I'm trying to do this more regularly to get some clubs promoted. But today, I, I have the pleasure of talking to Rafi Greco, who was a former student of mine, but she seems to have recovered and she's doing full time dual enroll, right? Yes. And, um, and she is the president of Key Club. And Key Club is, is a big, very, very active organization uh, around here. And if I was someone who would w want to be involved in Key Club, because I've seen you get what you guys do, what would I do, Rob? Um, you can pay your dues to Portable One for Mr. Hammett. First thing. <laughs> and you can join the Remind, which is KCHHS20 to 81010. Oh, so eight and ten. So it's one more time. It's it's KC. So Key Club. KC JHS twenty. Okay. KC JHS twenty. Okay, perfect. So remind code. Go see Mr. Hammond and Portable One. That's pretty much walking to Loxahatchee and uh, and pay your dues, suckers. Um, so I know we've been really appreciative. We being uh, student government have been really appreciative of you guys helping out with our upcoming food drive. That was very nice of you. Um, and we're going to try and help you out with Socktober. Tell us a little bit about Socktober. Okay, so Socktober, we've been doing this month, which we're collecting new socks for the Homeless Coalition of Palm Beach County. And it's going to go on until... I got my gator socks. <laughs> That's it. Um, <laughs> it's going to go on until October 31st. So okay. you can donate them to Portable One. To Mr. Very cool. And uh, honestly, uh, in 4217, if you don't want to walk all the way out to Luxachi, um, you can drop them off in here. I have a box. We've already got a couple. Yeah, it's for this portable. Okay. So, yes. So, portable one or 4217, we're happy to help out collecting those. But you ain't getting my gator socks. I'm wearing my orange today, and this was yesterday. So, it's tomorrow. Whatever. Um, all right. So, I know you guys do dance marathon, and I know it's probably a little bit up in the air this year. Yeah, I'm not sure how it's going to go about, but we're definitely going to do something with it. And the dance marathon is basically, well, it's a dance. You dance, you eat, but you have to, you can't sit down for five hours. And there's games. We donate 100, they donate 100% of the funds to the, to their hospitals. And it's all for the kids. Oh, cool. Yeah. And yeah, we love to love dance marathon. It's fantastic. And what else? So real quick, what else do you have coming up? I know you got another um, Coming up, we have pajama program which we collect pajama, pajamas for kids five or five to 17 to portable one. And we also are collecting books. 
Okay, so pajamas or pajamas, whichever you have. Whichever one. <laughs> and, and books. And uh, so you're not getting my footy pajamas, so I got those. Okay. So, um, but I, I, may, I, I may donate. I may, I may find something yeah. to give to you guys. All right, so great. It's great talking to you. It's great seeing you again. I um, hope you stay safe. Um, wait, wait, wait. We, we, still, we still have another one. Oh, wait, you got another thing? Okay. Yeah, on. just one really quick. We have the the Big Heart um the big 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 heart brigade and we're gonna package thanksgiving dinners for the less fortunate oh very very cool yes okay. big heart, wonderful charity so yeah sorry to cut you off on that i i you, yeah. know, I said you got super busy uh, program you have there so so good on you for um for doing all that rafi i really really appreciate it and i know Eric, the community is is better off for for you and your friends who are doing all that so thank you rafi and it's thank good seeing you, you and all that nice stuff I said before, and I'll see everyone else in the halls or hopefully one day soon. <laughs>